So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a home bargain tour so if you want to see what I picked up today then keep watching. First things first, I'm sorry about my throat. Um, I've had a bit of a sniffle and a snuffle and um, it's quite sore this morning after they went to the gym so I'm hoping it's not too irritating because I know I don't sound great. Um, but we went home bargain, we went to go and pick up a few bits for Stan's birthday today and I went to a real retail park where there's like a Smiths and things like that and there's home bargains there and I've not been to get like cleaning bits and bobs for ages and I've not been to home bargains for ages, um, not since last year at some point because I've been going to a B&M which is a bit closer instead but I have to say I bloody love home bargains. I forgot how much I liked it because there's some really cute little bits that I picked up. So I thought I would just show you what I bought. So there's gonna be some cute items, some foodie snack bits that I always get and then cleaning stuff. So let's get cracking. Okay, so I've organized everything and I'm gonna start with the cute stuff. I got a couple of Easter bits. Um, we do have like little bits here and there up in the loft that we can bring down for Easter, but. I'm only human and some of these things were so cute. So the first thing that I picked up was actually this little wax melt burner. But I quite like a theme, as I've probably said a million times before. And I just thought that this was so cute. So just imagine a little tea light in there, like glowing and the bunnies glowing. I just thought it would be adorable. And it was only, I think, 2 99 and it came with some... Um, wax melts in the scent Wild Orchid. Now I'm not expecting them to be as good as like the ones that I normally buy. Um, my favourite place at the moment is the Northumberland Candle Company. Um, I have a code actually that hopefully will still work so I'll remember to leave them linked down below because I know they're going to be launching a Mother's Day wax melt box soon and probably an Easter one as well. Um, but I just couldn't resist this. I thought it was so cute. And again, it's just the sort of thing that I've just not seen in B&M when I've went. Um, it's an absolute shambles on my kitchen island by the way uh, the next thing that I picked up I was really pleased to see this actually because all the rest were different pastel colors which I think are beautiful but generally speaking I tend to go towards more of like a neutral tone just because then I feel like the things that I buy last longer for me because I can move them around the house and they fit in a little bit better and um, so it was this springtime bunny jar and I just thought that was absolutely adorable. So cute. Um, and so the other shades were pastel pink, there was a yellow and I think there was a blue as well. But just for me personally, I feel like in here, the white would just go better. Um, and it's the sort of thing that I can imagine Daisy somehow acquiring after Easter is over for her bedroom, which I won't be mad about in all honesty, but I just thought that was really sweet. They had so much stuff like, door stops um, they had like little plush bunnies if you wanted to do like an Easter basket for your kids um, they had like Easter hat decorations Easter egg hunt stuff all sorts so if you're after anything Home Bargains is the place to go speaking of which $2.99 half well, I was half tempted to buy three, but realistically, Bill probably isn't going to be asked about Easter egg hunts for too much longer in his lifetime. He'll probably humour us and it's free chocolate at the end of the day, so he'll probably always do it. But I just bought one purely because I thought it would really look really cute. Like, I thought maybe I could switch it for our fruit basket. You know, like, just for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I just... You know when you see things sometimes and you just think, okay, I have no self-control. Oh, <coughs> I need this. And it was just, oh, it's absolutely adorable. I thought that was so cute that I, I cannot beat that. Um, I really, part of me wants to go back and get two more, but I'm trying to rein myself in. Anyway, then other Easter items that I picked up, I got three of these um, surprise bath bombs, which you've seen me buy before. And again, it's one of those where my children are getting older and I know that like, Bill will still have a bath now and again. And I know this isn't really like his thing, but when you've got more than one child, I don't know about you, but I can't buy two something and not 
the other um, but maybe I need to start thinking of like different things that I can get or like just I don't know putting the money on his go Henry card or something but I just I don't know it's a it's a learning curve like some things like this I know he'll use it and he uses like Christmas bath bombs and stuff um but then there's other things like I don't really buy like him like coloring books anymore for example anyway I'm, I'm going off on a tangent um the next Easter item I bought was just this pack of assorted lollipops because I liked them the Easter shapes I think like egg shaped and um, bunny paw shaped or something like that um, but what I like about them is that they're flat and a lot of lollipops are round which are more of like a bit of a uh, with choking and things like that so I thought these would just be quite cute to have in um, and also an alternative for Easter egg hunt if your little ones aren't into chocolate and then I think the final thing that I picked up was just this happy Easter um bunting which was really sweet like cute little colors and stuff we're actually having the house redecorated from the flood um next week so it was meant to be over half term like this previous week but we got closer and closer to it and it was like just after the funeral and we just felt like this is going to be really hard to have like the kids at home and heads weren't even really in it so we asked our decorator if there was anyone that would be willing to swap with us and obviously like people work because it meant that they could get theirs done quicker so we swapped and ours is happening next week so i'm really excited to have everywhere decorated because there's still loads of stains it like you won't be able to see like from this camera but like close up in here it looks really grubby um, and i'm so excited and it just makes me think like oh it'd be nice for stan's birthday and like Easter and Daisy's birthday and Bill's birthday it'll all be like kind of back to normal which I'm really really excited about so I'm, I'm looking forward to putting this up when it's all it's all finished and decorated and um, next up I'm going to move on to snacks and then I'll do like the cleaning homeware bits at the end and um, so the first thing that I picked up was this and um, so I like the I can't remember what it's called I buy it all the time it's the raspberry one it's like a crisp type thing you know like in the white box jordan's make it can't remember what it's called but this <coughs> oh this is the more flake version it's strawberries and white chocolate do i want white chocolate in it no but it was really affordable and daisy's been eating it as well now for breakfast so my packs of this go down really quickly so i just thought i'd pick another one up because we finished it this morning um and yeah it's new so hopefully that's nice it's got like freeze dried strawberries in and stuff like that um i picked up some roosters because the kids love them especially bill i got some free snacks because these were like 79 and 99p respectively 79 ooh, 99 and um i just thought again they're great ones for pack lunches or snacks when the kids come home from school i got these chocolino bites um obviously not for school because these have hazelnuts from what i can gather um allergy advice oh actually the only thing is no nuts in these i thought because it's called nuttini it would be like nuts and squirrels and this that and the other but it's only chocolate and the only allergy allergen it would be would be soya wheat or milk and we don't have that in our school so they will actually be all right for pack lunches which is really cool you get eight packs as well which is quite good and um, i thought they look really nice like they will appease my children that's for sure then i got some biscuits for our biscuit jar which is up there somewhere and um, running low i just got some crunch creams so i got very vanilla and apple crumble because everybody loves a crunch cream don't they so i got those they were just as i came in actually on offer so that was all the food i think and then cleaning stuff and like home bits um so first up i saw this new cousins creations absolute pandemonium tropical jelly and cupcakes um it's limited edition and i got the hand wash because that was like under a pound in fact both of them were under, under a pound i think and um i like to oh that's very nice i like to stock up like our dispensers and because these are so big i can just decant into them so um i thought the kids would like those um another thing that i picked up for like body i suppose is a collab jar shampoo because i've been seeing quite a few things recently about batiste not actually being that good for you with the chemicals that are used in it um and i saw 
a rather popular hairdresser on like TikTok recommend this as a really affordable alternative. So I thought I would share that with you guys as well because um, that's what I'm going to try and use from now on. And it was really cheap, sorry. Anyway, other bits I got were some cotton soft, cotton wool oval pads because I've run out and I use these with like um, various things that I put on my face. Like I've got a hyaluronic acid um, toner and the red and toner that I love. So that's what those are for. And then I also got some universal brush heads because I am out of them um, and I need to replace all of our brush heads soon. Try and do that as regularly as I can because it's just more hygienic and stuff and then they're more effective. Um, I don't know what your kids are like, but mine like chew theirs as well, which is really annoying. And cleaning wise, I picked up this, which is a washing machine cleaner. There's two shots in here. Uh, prevents bad odours, removes lice, lime scale and lasting freshness. I'm struggling today. Um, and it's in the scent Cotton Fresh. So I normally do the clean on a Thursday, so I'll be using that. And then I also picked up the seasonal scent of Zaflora, which is Sunshine Escape. Um, and I didn't actually smell this in store. I just kind of trusted it. So hopefully it is nice. Well, that's just beautiful, so I'm glad to pick that up. So I always like to have a Sephora in. I think it's really, like, multi-purpose, good for different things. Then I picked up this blue pack. So we have three toilets in our house um, and I always like it when they come in packs of three and I think it was a couple of pounds and this is in the scent Peachy Sunset. So that's just for the next time that I need to, like, change them over. And then I got the Febreze Air Mist in Peony and Cedar because this is really pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, we just ran out of this one, so I wanted to get it again because I just really like the smell of it. And then we're nearly done. I took a bit of a risk. So I have these Febreze three volutions in some parts of the house and they'd run out. But obviously the official ones are more expensive. And then I spotted this, but I couldn't find a holder for it. I was like, is it like a Jeep, like the Audi ones, or is it you know, will it fit in the normal one? I was looking for ages and I thought, well, I'll try it out um, and just see if it fits. But obviously because it's a plug-in, it's like very wary about these sorts of things. So I thought I would try it now. And then if it doesn't fit, you can save your money. This is in the scent Mystic Japan, um, but it was a lot cheaper than the official ones. And I just thought, you know what? If, I, if this works, that would be, a game changer so first impressions it smells nice and then oh my gosh it fits exactly the same I think that was 99p so I'll plug that in and see how I get on with it and keep an eye on it while it's in do you know what I mean and then but I'm assuming that's why they were made and what they were made for but they are exactly the same fit um, if anyone knows any different, let me know because we don't want to be promoting silly things online. But I'm I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with that, to be quite honest with you. So it wasn't a waste of 99p after all. But then as a backup, I did get one of the official ones, so I've got that as a spare. Um, but I'm really pleased, really pleased. Um, it's nice when you find a bargain. Hopefully it smells as good and it's got as good a scent throw, but fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm just going to put these in the bin and I'll do the last two bits. And unfortunately for you, the last two bits are really flipping boring, but we've got some wheelie bin liners for my husband because he likes to put those in our big bins to keep them clean, which in his defence does really work. Um, especially when you've got dogs and I remember when we had like nappies going in when the kids were younger like your bins can get really gross and smelly can't they but these are really useful and it was a big pack um, and then I got some handy bags <laughs> um, which are just for the bins every child has a bin in their bedroom and then we have bins in like the bathrooms and stuff um, and I change them every week so it just kind of contains everything because um, you know what kids are like sometimes there can be all sorts in those bins uh, so I always pick some of those up and that is everything but I was I really enjoyed having a meet around there today I didn't get anything particularly crazy but I'd have gone just for this in all honesty um, but yeah I hope you found that useful and well if you know it like me you probably just enjoyed watching it anyway but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you all very very soon.